I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport Elite 23RB. It's a beautiful couples coach. Let's go ahead and start off right here in the kitchen. So you'll see the very large solid surface countertops all the way through here. And one of the things I really like they've done with this floor plan is they give you this bar area right here. Uh, they do have a couple stools underneath the bed. I can show you a little bit later. But this uh, allows you to forego any kind of regular dinette and instead get a sofa, which again, I'll show you in a little bit. But huge prep space in here, which is awesome. High rise pull out faucet makes it nice and easy to do dishes. Dual sink top covers, we take those off. You'll see the large single bowl undermount stainless steel sink right there. It is nice and deep, which is good because it allows you to have residential size pots and pans and still be able to fit them in there to wash them. If you take a look up top, you have this beautiful uh, cabinetry on here. It's the raised panel cabinetry. Nice big storage going all the way across. You'll see they didn't put a style right here, which I like because if you have larger items, you can go ahead and still put them in there. Uh, moving over a little bit, right here is the microwave. You can see the weight on this unit. It's under 4,800 pounds, which is very nice. Uh, some additional storage over here to the side. Underneath the microwave is your fully functional hood with a light and fan. Speaking of lights, you will see lights on either side. You have a couple LED lights there, which are great. Uh, what you'll also notice is you have a couple of electrical outlets. So if you need to plug anything in, you can do that there too, whether it's a toaster, coffee maker, blender, whatever you, may, uh, whatever you want to use. Right here is your three burner Atwood cooktop, the front one being high output. Underneath is your oven for a little bit of baking. And then take a look at this nice deep drawer here, uh, you know, full extension ball bearing drawer. This is great for pots and pans because it is so large. Underneath the sink, some additional storage there, plenty of room for cleaning supplies and anything else you want to stuff underneath there. And you have a bank of four drawers running all the way down. Again, solid, or the uh, uh, ball bearing there, full extension drawers. Moving over a little bit more, you'll see right over here, again, some additional storage. Uh, so great kitchen space overall. Again, huge countertops. Across the way here is your fridge and freezer. You can go ahead and take a look at that. Plenty of space. This one runs off both propane and electric. It also has automatic switchover. Uh, now your control panels right up here on the side. And in the very back when you walk in, this is really cool. So take a look at this. You'll see you have a hanging rod going all the way across. So that uh, lets us be kind of multi-purpose. If you want this to be extra wardrobe space, you can do that. Myself, personally, I'd probably use this to hang up jackets and sweatshirts, things for going outside. Makes it nice and easy to get to. You see you have an extra cubby hole right there. Another full extension drawer there for some smaller items, maybe gloves, hats, scarves. And then underneath, you see you have good storage there too, which is great for shoes. Whether you want to put a bin down there or just stick them in there, either way, uh, I like the fact that they have this here. You have a little more decorative door than what you're used to seeing in the Passport. Again, it kind of goes with the Elite here. When we open this up, uh, you'll see a nice size bathroom. In the corner is your foot flush lever toilet there. Uh, if you take a look up top, you will see your vent fan as well as a skylight above the shower. Neo angle shower there, you do have the glass shower door, a uh, couple of shelves, and your hand wand for easy washing. And then over on this side, you can see your mirrored medicine cabinet. Underneath that, sink top and vanity and additional storage. Now right over here is a slide out. So nice big slider here again under that 4,800 pound mark. And this is a tri-fold sofa. So very comfortable. Uh, I really like that they did this instead of a dinette because it gives you another place to sit here where you can relax, watch TV. If you want to fold this out and lay down on it to watch TV, you can do that. Or you can of course have additional guests stay the night. And again, that is very comfortable. Uh, you'll see the windows all the way around here to help brighten it up. And as I mentioned, this is the driftwood interior. As you make your way up into the bedroom space, you have your queen bed right here. It is a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. So you don't have to worry about your feet hanging off. And then underneath, you can see you have a couple things. You have the two stools there I mentioned, as well as an outside grill, uh, tire cover right here too. 
So the stools can go right here. Again, you know, they kind of built this bar so you're able to set it there. And then you have another door over here too where you can see you have access to a little bit of additional storage. So if you need to tuck something in there, it gives you a couple different access points to the storage underneath the countertop. Right up here is your TV, which is great. Uh, you know, this is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to turn it toward the TV or toward the bed, you can do that. Or as I mentioned, you know, it can have a straight shot right across the couch. On the other side over here is the multimedia center. So if you need to, or if you rather, if you want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and put that in there. It's also radio CD player and it is Bluetooth capable. If you take a look underneath, you'll see some extra hooks here. Uh, you know, that can be for keys if you want, it can be nice robe hooks. Just go ahead and hang them right there. Uh, really whatever you want to put over there. If you take a look on the sides of the bed, you will see dual mirrored wardrobe space, the hanging rod, of course, storage up top, nice shelf down below, and you have electrical outlets in the side of the bed. Going all the way across the top here is your tinted glass, and again, that does have extra storage in those compartments. One other cool thing about the Passport Elite, if you take a look at the ceiling, you can see it really well here. It is a barreled ceiling, so it gives you that extra height, which is nice, because, you know, you may spend a lot of time in here. You don't want to feel closed in and claustrophobic. You'll also notice if you look at the ceiling, the LED lights, and you have the um, uh, AC that is vented all the way throughout. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport Elite 23RB. It's a beautiful couples coach, very well built. You have a nice big slide with the couch there, huge countertop and prep space, and it's under 4,800 pounds. If you're interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That will be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.